Okay, so this is in a nutshell when you walk into a cold B3 and you have to turn it on, you know how to turn it on. Uh -huh. And then we're going to go with the setup. Now, Dylan, we're gonna go left to right, all the way across, and we're gonna do the chorus volume section first. And then we're gonna go do the draw bars and we're gonna end on the percussion section. Okay, okay so we talked about this. These two are off. Yeah, we're gonna click those forward off and just for safety, the volume is gonna be back on soft. Uh -huh. Okay, so why don't you do that just for practice? Okay, good. That's full organ, that's uh -huh. jazz organ, that's the bass pedal, that's for comping, that's for kicking bass, all the percussions forward, and then, and then you hit a B natural on the preset and a B natural on the preset, which activates this set of draw bars, which is the second set. And this activates the far set of draw bars, which is for kicking bass with the left hand. And now let's do a little bit of the anthropology, comping in the right hand, kicking bass in the left, and a little bit of B flat, B flat on the pedal. Good. Now give me a little bit of the solo in the right, kicking bass in the left. Tune it up a little bit by pushing this little draw bar in, maybe just like one or two notches. That's the bass pedal. Or you can play the pedal more staccato. That way the pedal's not blah, blah. It's more of just supposed to be like, oh, oh, oh. so if you find the pedal notes sticking out too much, unless you're kicking every note, which we're gonna cover all that, then you can also pull the pedal all the way out and then just push it in maybe one, one or two clicks. Uh -huh. That really fine tunes things. But what you're doing now sounds fantastic. Cool. Okay? Yeah, thank Yay. you.